hi to Chaco. That's a Mold Moldovian flag. The Romanian flag doesn't have that little bird. There, I'm dropping a knowledge bomb here on you guys because I know this shit. I'm like an expert flag caller. A flag whisperer, that's what they call me. Chaco, the flag whisperer. Here comes the death knight. Here's the archmage. He is uh, creeping over here. Killing some gnolls. There's a tome of virginity on the floor. He picks up the uh, circlet. Wait, did he just attack his own peasant? Oh, he's killing his own water elemental. That makes sense. Here comes the death knight. Oh, we have an archmage. That's not a mountain king. But the colors are flipped? I don't think the colors are flipped. I just googled and the colors looked exactly the same. Moldovian. Moldova is blue. Okay, what did it say? Romania? Romania? No, Romania also is blue on the left side and red on the uh, right side. Anyway, we have this beautiful finals. Maybe I should pay attention to them. Uh, some skeletons dying. There's a coil. This peasant is solo on hit points, four hit points. And the Archmage and the Footman, they are hunting down the Death Knight. The thing is a coat of arms. It's a bird. <laughs> I don't even know what the coat of arms means. What what does it even mean? What's a coat of arms? This militia guy. Oh, run, my little militia. He's running. Is he running to the hell fountain? There's a fiend on the way, though. He could kill maybe the militia. And the Archmage is going to creep over here. Let me look what the coat of arms means. The distinctive heraldic bearings or shield of a person, family, corporation, or country. Okay. You learn something new every day. Especially on my stream. Uh, this skeleton goes down. This skeleton here is going down as well. Is he going down? He's going down. Mantle of intelligence. Imagine if this argument would have the mantle of intelligence equipped right now. He would do so much damage. The death knight tries to steal it, but uh, militia intercept him. He takes so much damage over here. Skeleton and a, and a fiend killing so many peasants. Look at all these bodies. Death Knight though. Only has 100 XP. There's four peasants. I mean, that's not a lot. I mean, it's a little bit. It's not nothing. But it's four peasants. The Archmage is almost level 3 already. The Archmage is going to pick up these items. My bad. I'm ashamed. It's it's all right. You don't have to be ashamed. There it goes the uh, sheep. To be honest, I didn't know either. I had to Google it. <laughs> the footman, footman, and we have an archmage here. The archmage is going for the skeleton. This peasant is going into the gold mine. Here comes the death knight, and there goes another skeleton. He's dead. Oh, he gets a, the peasant 129 XP. He gets four bonus XP because he's a tier two and he has solo ex a solo hero, of course. That's why it's not 125, but 129. He coils the fiend. He's beautiful. Here comes another fiend. The fiend is going to kill some more peasants. Being a human worker is harder than being a baby seal in Warcraft 3. Well, being a baby seal, you just sit there and do nothing. You might get killed, but uh, there's nothing you can do about it. This fiend is beautiful. You know the died most in 15 years of Warcraft, the worker. Well, this... Uh, this there are the most workers in the game, so the, I mean, that makes sense. Death Knight kills a peasant and another one. He has six, six kills now on the peasants. Wait, oh yeah, he, he Lich is out. Lich is not out. Wait, what? Is it like the moment you start building your Lich, you already lose the 15% bonus XP? Because this just gave 25 XP. I guess, uh, I mean, the Lich is already counting as a hero then. He doesn't uh, get bonus XP right now. The Death Knight hunting down this Archmage. The fiends are beautiful. So beautiful. A lumber mill going up. Archmage, he, uh, he has boots. He has a mantle, he has a circlet. He's a sniper and he has uh, a talisman of evasion even. So what mantle with the flank attack. Is he uh, right clicking the Death Knight a little bit? Just for a little bit more damage. No, he's just... He's retreating to the uh, Fountain of Health. Here comes our... Oh no, he's just waiting for the rest of the footman. Here comes the Lich. This footman is beautiful. Oh, level 3 Archmage. Nice Nova here on the Archmage, but he has boots. And level 2 Water Elementals. 
Literally takes a bit of damage from the water elementals. One water elemental does go down. One water elemental is left here. He's working his way through the lich, but it seems like the water elemental will fall first. There he goes. Bye bye, water elemental. And here's the Archmage. He summons another one. Another water elemental. It's so beautiful, but. There's a coil nova, kills a footman. Finally, we have that level 2 death knight. That is so important because uh, the aura. He will heal. He will heal for so much. And not only will he heal, he will also have increased movement speeds. Hey, does he not have the aura? Is he going death pact? Did he misclick death pact? Fortunately. He cannot misclick uh, the ultimate because he's only level 2. But Death Pact, I don't think, uh, you know, that was on purpose. Maybe he hasn't picked the skill yet. He coils the footman. But you always, I mean, in this situation, you don't want Death Pact. Right, the Mountain King is uh, not going to show up anytime soon. Oh, there. He picks uh, Unholy Aura finally. Maybe he finally realized, hey, I'm level 2. Getting a little water elemental. He's going down fast. What do we get here? The third fiend. Do we have double slaughterhouse? Yep, yeah, double slaughterhouse. Destroyers, uh, ziggurat, of course, and two destroyers available. Do we have masonry? No, no masonry. He's not even upgrading masonry. Uh oh. Is Sheik just gonna destroy him? With two destroyers. I mean, he has to be fast though. So many new towers going up. And he doesn't have level 2 coil, so even if he makes this into a destroyer, he just has level 1 coil. The Archmage takes a little bit of damage. There's uh, plenty of towers in the main as well. I think Blade should hold, at least against two destroyers only, and one with super low hit points. He should easily, easily be able to hold. And this uh, Water Elemental, does he eat it? No, he doesn't. The Lich going for the tower, the tower going, uh, you know, slowly down. Do we have, uh, oh my god, the Archman says TP. Do we seek anything to heal the, no. Cannot heal the destroyer. Oh, hello, Archmage. Bye bye, Archmage. That was a pretty nice kill on this Archmage. That was pretty nice. It's like a free Archmage. It, that's what it was, a free Archmage. And uh, of course, Sheik is just saying thank you. He still doesn't have a level 3 death knight. A player's forces are under attack. These destroyers, they find some footmen. The footmen take a little bit of damage. He's going for the outer of kings. Oh, here are the militia guys. The nice storm bolt there on the lich. The lich taking so much damage. Do we have a coil? Soon we'll have a coil. He should be able to save the lich uh, with a coil. It's level 1 though, but should be enough. There's another storm bolt. Now he's level 3. The next coil will be level 2, but I'm not sure if he's gonna be enough. Actually, he just kills the Mount King. Is it GG or, or is this uh, is this game still ongoing? Is this to be continued? Because, you know, I'm just saying this game might be over. In the long run, that is. So he only has 4 peons here on gold. We have an uh, altar going up over here because this one is going down for sure. And uh, does he go meat wagons or does he just go more destroyers? Let's see, he has two destroyers. He has two more statues. I mean, destroyers should be able to do it. Uh, there's no masonry. He's now finally getting masonry. Like 12 minutes in the game or what? How many minutes are we? 11, 11 minutes in the game. We see masonry. There's a destroyer here. There's another one over there. Uh, there's three towers left. He's just killing peasants now though. Just, you know. Ah! Nice Nova there, killing more peasants. He's going for this tower now, this guard tower. In deep shit. Uh, peasants are dying. The guard. GG. There's the Archmage, Manath, Mage Singer. And here we have a Death Knight for Sheik. Match started from 1 0, yes. Here comes the Death Knight. Sheik is very rich man, yeah. It's a mus uh, Muslim. It's Arabic. 1200 rubles, one Coca Cola. It's a lot of money, that's all I have to say. <laughs> 21 euro. It's some. Yeah, it's. Uh, is 21 euro? I thought it was uh, about 21 dollars. Nice coil there, all the Archmage. 
In Romanian, there's also a word which means the same. With the meaning of luxury. Oh yeah, you're right. In Dutch, uh, in Dutch, it also means uh, yeah, something like luxury, uh, kind of like an old, like a traditional luxury kind of meaning. Seventeen euro. Okay, seventeen euro. But we don't care about euros. We care about rubles. Twelve hundred rubles, guys. That's a lot of rubles. Imagine having like twelve hundred bananas. You'd eat bananas for for the entire year. You'd have enough for a year or two years, maybe. But instead of twelve hundred bananas, you get twelve hundred rubles. The skeleton, uh, the skeleton is fighting. He is. Look at this uh, expansion attempt here for blade, blade with the archmage. Death Knight coils one of the trolls, and another troll dies. Uh, Death Knight, what is he going for? There, the water metal didn't. Did he not get it? 90... He did get it, right? Yeah, he got one troll and one water elemental. He's 90 XP. The ghoul got it, not the death knight, though. We have uh, five ghouls. This ghoul takes a bit of damage. The archmage is doing so much damage, but the coil saved the ghoul for now. This other ghoul... I'm sorry for that. This other ghoul is moving over there. He has backpack, by the way. The ghouls have backpack. Oh, and they want the skeletons. Kill this ghoul. <laughs> if uh, Blade kills this ghoul, the, the rod will fall on the floor. The Archmage could pick it up. This one went to uh, the Archmage, the Ogre, level 5 Ogre. This ghoul is so alive. He gets away. Footman killing uh, skeletons. The ghoul blocks the Archmage. The Archmage is still fine. He still has a, the... Oh, he, the ghoul picked up Claws. Oh, the ghoul picked up Claws. I totally missed that. But that uh, makes sense. Claws of Attack now on the Death Knight. But he still has the skeletons. No, he gave the skeletons to the Death Knight as well, finally. And these skeletons, they kill another uh, peasant. There, this skeleton also is dead. And the Archmage is coming back to kill some more units. 1200 bananas is worth much more than 17 euro. I know. I, I was just saying how big the number is. I'm just saying, you know, 1200 rebels is... 1200 is just a big number. This skeleton is going down. This uh, skeleton over here is also going down. There. And this, this Death Knight is doing so much damage against his uh, Town Hall. He's sur he was kind of stuck between his own ghoul. But the ghoul started to walk and now the Death Knight walking as well. They don't even have bananas in Russia? What? Oh. I thought they had uh, bananas everywhere. Bananas for skill? Yeah. A player's forces are under attack. What's happening over here? An Archmage trying to kill a ghoul. The ghoul is too fast. This death die is so low on hit points. The Archmage, he doesn't have boots. Oh, nice coil, kills another peasant. 140 XP now on this death knight. Which is, uh, let's see, a troll. He first got a troll and a water elemental. Oh, wait, uh, does he lose another ghoul? Yeah. So then he was at 90. So he got 50 more, 50 more XP. That's two more peasants. So two peasants, a level 3 creep, and a water elemental. That's his XP, 140. The skeleton here is being uh, hunted down by the Archmage. These two skeletons are both very low. K kills one of them. The other one, not enough for level 3 just yet. He needs uh, 15 more XP. There's Panda though. The panda for Sheik. And we all know that the Panda, he can kill stuff. And the Death Knight just retreating. Easy peasy. Here's the panda. Rather fire. Beautiful. It was invisible, but it still did damage. Skeletons killing peasants. Uh, the shop was cancelled. Uh, whatever was cancelled as well. Death Knight buys a healing potion. Spirit tower going up. The panda by himself. Can he do a lot of damage? There's another breath of fire. This tower is going up. Meanwhile, we have another footman on their way. The panda got surrounded almost. And he summoned skeletons. Remember, earlier in the day, we did see Blade beat 120. However, then he lost to TPCBM. And uh, he did beat Edo Boy earlier. 2-1. Two to Then he lost to Sheik. And he hasn't won a map yet against Sheik. Nice breath of fire there by the panda. These cool, these footmen are quite beautiful. This, this footman is uh, taking a lot of damage. This footman is... Is he dead? Is he? He's dead. And this ghoul goes down, uh, he retreats. There's a zeppelin. This time he built a farm, by the way. Next to that uh, goblin laboratory. He's playing against undead this game. 
But he uh, buys the units, buys the shredder, buys a uh, zeppelin. And he will defend for now. Wow, I'm getting even more and more hungry. Uh, there's a nice coil on the Archmage. And we have Panda and stuff. Things are beautiful. I am so hungry. Well, I have protein shakes. Death Knight is almost level 2. We have a fiend here in the back. He's getting some more statues. The panda is over here. He has uh, claws of attack. And the panda is going for this water elemental. Does he get it? No, the zeppelin will pick it up. Oh no, no, he's just dropping units instead to help the water elemental. There's another one. Let's go for the skeleton. No, yes, I mean, the archmage picked up and dropped back down. Both skeletons are dead. The archmage now is going to attack. But meanwhile, some ghouls coming over here. There's no guard tower. Just this arcane tower is useless. The shredder uh, is going to help. He kills ghouls pretty fast, but only if the ghouls remain on my code because they can slip through these gaps. And avoid the shredder if they really want to, but they're killing the peasants. They're not finding the shredder. Look, the shredder is just so clunky running around the bases. Uh, the slaughterhouse is taking a lot of damage here from a footman. And, uh, you know, the death knight still level 2. He gets a nice web here on this uh, zeppelin. There's a mountain key. Stormbolt on the panda. He takes so much damage. These ghouls are finding the shredder now. The panda did go down. And uh, his water metal is also going down. There's a nice web on the zeppelin. Another ghoul goes down. The lich is being uh, built here or summoned. This little footman takes so much damage. And of course the zeppelin will also go down. And the ghouls, it seems like one ghoul did go down. But he, they killed a, quite a few peasants. Actually I only see, uh, they killed a few peasants. They killed like two or three peasants. Oh, but the ghouls have to be careful. A player's forces are under attack. A player's forces are under attack. Where's the lich? Did he, uh, where is the lich? Oh, there's the lich. There's the lich. He buys the orb, of course. He's gonna be powerful. There it is. So easy to become powerful if you're a lich. All you have to do is buy an orb. Collect 375 gold. Actually, that's quite expensive. Usually liches don't have that much money when they're just, uh, trained. But the death knight, of course, he already, he already, uh, saved up enough money. He set up a nice fund, the Lich Orb of Corruption fund. So the moment the Lich arrives, he can immediately buy that orb. Nice the Novas, this Ogre Magi, so make sure that the Archmage cannot steal that Ogre Magi. The, uh, the Mountain King is over here, he's beautiful as well. What are you guys talking about, rooms? What are we talking about? The Lich, it is Nasty Eternal. The Death Knight is so close to level 3. There comes the Panda. Woo. Stormwood on the Ghoul, there's a Coil, saving the Ghoul for now. There are the Dragon Hawks, of course. Maybe I should have uh, checked Blade's base, but you know, it's very typical Blade style here. Going for the Dragon Hawks. Paladin, Knights. A Quite a beautiful style. Over here we get the Fiends. Fiends are beautiful as well. Top right are different rooms. What? I don't know. Apparently he uh, only has four peasants in his gold mine, but you know, that's fine. It's not fine, but that's uh, that's not fine. We see some ghouls here. I mean, on the stream chat. Oh, are there different rooms? And this, uh, th these ghouls, these ghouls are going to take so much damage here. We have a griffin and griffin does so much magic damage. And this fiend, oh, he almost died. 
But he's still going to die, actually. He's so dead. And uh, this is the first game Blade is gonna win. Blade is so far ahead in supply. And uh, yes, expansion stayed up actually for the first game in this entire uh, series. And the series before this as well. So suddenly Blade is showing his real power. This is his real power level, guys. Up until now, he hasn't been playing to his full power level. Now he leveled up. He powered up. Now we'll see a different blade. Look at these dragon hawks. Some of them die. The Griffins here is uh, taking a lot of damage. He's going to die, but meanwhile he kills a fiend. He's killing more. The lich here takes a bit of damage from the militia. Uh, Nova there. The the coil needs to be uh, needs to hit the lich now, and uh, he doesn't have mana for coil, so he gives the arc to the lich, but the uh, lich will come back. Then here we have another griffin just hunting down these statues. The statue is totally dead. The paladin is level two, and the the uh, lich comes back. Of course he comes back. And there goes the peasant. Nice Nova. That was a beautiful Nova. Panda, no more mana though. The dragon hawk is uh, about to die, but this fiend. Oh, holy light on the dragon hawk. That's insanely powerful. The dragon hawk is still dies. Okay, these guys are retreating. They, uh, but the strobot on the panda he has DP, but he dies, and that means GG. The first game, blade wins. What map is this, by the way? Is this a map with a bridge? It is. Beautiful bridge. Over here. Look at this bridge. Is this just in the game or did the maker of this map like do some shenanigans to make this bridge? I guess the maker of this map worked this uh probably this bridge took him like two weeks to make. And the rest of the map took him another week. There's a footman, there's an archmage. Okay, it's this archmage. Uh, look at the acolyte just showing us the bridge. Look how nice, chic. Showing us the bridge. Here's the bridge in full uh, daylight. It's a beautiful bridge. So beautiful. Is your stomach Mexican to ask for burritos and tacos? Um, I'm not sure because it doesn't work too well on tequila. But yeah, tacos and burritos. They, uh, my stomach accepts plenty of those. This acolyte here takes a bit of damage here. The Archmage, you know, he's, he's killing him. There he goes. And he's gonna go for these Tuskars. These, they look pretty strong. They're weak as, they're so weak souls. These level, this level five, 475 hit points. Level four is 475 hit points. These level two have 250 hit points, uh, which might be normal for level twos. But I feel like these level four and level fives are pretty weak. Uh, does he pick up the items? There, because here's the Death Knight. He coils uh, something, he gets a level 2 kill. He gets another level 2 kill with his sword. So that was nice. 64 XP here for the Lord Darkseid. The Lannister here. Oh, is, is he gonna lose his peasant? Here comes a skeleton. The skeleton tries to kill the peasant. Seems like he's gonna get it. And there it is. So now he's already at a nice 114 XP. 114? 64. That means he got another peasant somewhere. Over here? Oh, over there. Probably with uh, some other skeleton. Archmage is just hunting down this Death Knight. This Lannister. There's a baby seal. How is the Mexican food in the Netherlands? I don't know. <laughs> I haven't eaten any Mexican food in the Netherlands since I came back. A player's forces are under attack. Not sure if we have any. Uh, well, we'll probably have some. But here's this, this militia attacks the skeleton. Skeletons fall apart. The Archmage, he's beautiful. Throws some fireballs and skeletons. Is he gonna creep this creep camp? It does look like it. Militia helping out a lot, of course. Here comes the Death Knight with some skeletons. Archmage throwing fireballs at the uh, Death Knight. Can he? He wants the Ice Troll Berserker. The Ice Troll Trapper is dead. Oh, he got it. Someone uh, got an attack off on the Ice Troll Berserker. A peasant died there. Level so close on level 2 for Lord Darkseid. He wants his uh, Sask uh, Mammoth. He gets it. Level 2 Death Knight. Super duper powerful. The Archmage, he just. Uh, is he going to die? There's no mana for another coil, but this Archmage, he might die. Or TP out, but then he's still dying. He TPs out. Uh oh, this coil. He needs to avoid the coil. There's a healing fountain there, by the way. He, if he can get out in time, 
The Death Knight has a uh, aura. The Archmage does not have boots. Oh wait, he almost got surrounded. Okay. Oh, oh my God, hey, I I can see it, but the Death Knight can't see him. Look at a sneaky Archmage is hiding there, next to the Snowman. There's a Snowman there. Guys, there's a Snowman there, and he didn't tell. That Snowman can be trusted. He didn't tell Sheik. Hey, he's over here. But the Death Knight, he finds uh, a peasant. He kills a peasant. And he's out of coils now, so the Archmage is suddenly uh, not that afraid anymore. There goes a peasant. This expansion, though, when is it going up? <laughs> when is this expansion going up? Okay, he's building some towers now, but his feet is being an asshole. Death Knight is going to help uh, being an asshole. There goes this peasant. The peasant is dead. A player's forces are under attack. Taco here about the big announcement. Yeah, I know. I, I've heard already. Ten times today. Okay, he goes to the mana fountain. Nice coil there on the fiend. Hey, hello, footman. Where's the archmage? What is he uh, up to? Okay, he's standing over there. Place a sentry ward. Oh, why is the fiend surrounded? I didn't look for a moment, but I wasn't expecting this fiend to be surrounded. Hello. But these footmen, they might die. Depends if the dragon uh, gonna help out to kill them. Well, the dragon was busy with the water elemental. Here's the death knight with one fiend. And his foot this footman is going to die if it uh, stays there and fight. Yeah, it's uh, it's dead, guys. You have the death knight hunting down this archmage. He has 25 mana, so the archmage will get away. Beep, 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 beep. And what are these? That's a lich. A lich and another fiend. Nothing special going on here in the dead base. Only one slaughterhouse. No second slaughterhouse. These uh, peasants are dying. Archmage is running. Is this a um, uh, healing, by the way? Or is this random? Oh, this is also mana, I think. I think these fountains are random. So you need to check both of them. Like, what fountains do we have? We have oh, look at the fiends walking over the beautiful bridge. <laughs> that looks so cute. Because yeah, the skeleton does go down. The Death Knight still hunting down his Archmage. Is there Nova? There's Nova. Bye bye, Archmage. Ooh, ooh. Today they remaster Warcraft. I will personally pay for all Chaco's dentist appointments. Okay. Well,. I might have to go back because it's kind of still hurting. So I'll let you know, Danny. I'll, I'll remember. This arcane vault is going down. It's not going down because the footman, the footman, take uh, they sacrifice themselves. They're not never going to get a lich, right? There's mana for coil. Uh, there is going to be mana for Nova in a little bit. Two of them died there. There's another statue. There's a fiend over here. What is he buying? He buys an orb and a rod of necromancy. Okay, the only way for Blade to win this game is if he can snipe this fiend. Where's his Archmage? The Archmage is nowhere, nowhere close. <laughs> he needs to snipe the fiend to pick up the orb of corruption. But it's not going to happen. This orb of corruption will reach the, uh, the lich. Death Knight is beautiful. He's level 2. He's close to level 3 though. Lich is close to level 2. One tower goes down. These footmen are beautiful, but... Once this orb... Oh, we have the orb on the Lich. And the skeletons on the Death Knight. Good luck. Good luck, Blade. Good luck. He needs to defend... This attack. I'm pretty sure he already has the Destroyer upgrade, right? I'm pretty sure. This fiend in trouble! But we have level 2... Uh, Lich now, where's the false armor? There it is. False armor is beautiful. This uh, fiend is not going to die. And he takes a coil. I don't think he has a destroyer upgrade actually. Oh, there it is. There's a destroyer upgrade. There it is. GG. Easy ba game for Blade. He, well, for Sheik. Easy game for Sheik. He wins this cup. He wins the PG Champions Cup too. Congratulations to Sheik for winning 1200 rebels. 1200 rebels. That's so much rubbles. So much rubbles here for Sheik. 1200. Imagine if you just counted up to 1200. It's going to take about uh, two hours or so just to count up to that number. Maybe if you count really fast, you can do it in one hour. But 
I'm just saying it's such a high number, such a high amount of rebels. Beautiful. GG's.